How to create AI t-shirt with ChatGPT 2023 for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great video and in this video we're going to be discussing on how you can basically make yourself a t-shirt using the ChatGPT AI. Now, there's going to be a lot of steps involved in this, so please just make sure to watch this video till the end and gain all the information and knowledge you can by this video because once you watch it till the end, I guarantee you that you're going to have like the best t-shirt making design idea in your mind. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, first of all, obviously, we're going to use the essential chat GPT. Secondly, we're going to be using Canva.com. And then thirdly, we're going to be using Printify. Okay. Now, like you've most probably heard of Canva, but if you don't know what it is, first of all, let's discuss ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a great AI chatbot that you can ask anything, like literally anything, and it will give you anything. Then there's Canva, obviously one of the best free AI design tools out there. It creates an amazing art for you. It has tons and tons of options, great drag and drop builder option, and just works amazingly. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And uh, then finally comes Printify. Okay, now Printify is basically your, um, you could say drop shipping and printing service for e commerce, which like you can use this to print any design you want on a shirt. So yeah, that's basically all there is to discuss. Now let's get into the main video. So to get into the main video, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to ChatGPT. Okay, now that we're here, what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to ask ChatGPT good ideas for a t shirt. Okay, we're going to ask it that. Now, once you ask it that, we're going to wait for its response. So, as you can see, a simple iconic design that represents your favorite hobby or interest, a funny or clever phrase that will make people laugh or start a convo, a bold, colorful graphic that showcases your favorite pop culture reference a unique artistic design that celebrates individuality and creativity, a motivational quote or message that inspires positivity and self-confidence, a design that promotes a social cause or awareness campaign that you feel passionate about, a design that pays tribute to your hometown, state or country, a playful design that incorporates a popular meme, a design that features your favorite animal or pet, or a retro or vintage inspired design that has a timeless appeal. So we're going to be doing one of these. Okay. Now, I'd say we should go with number 10, you know, a retro or vintage inspired design. So I'm going to go with, can you elaborate on number 10? You're going to write that. And now it says, we're going to wait for its response. Sure. A retro vintage inspired design is a classic timeless option for a t-shirt. This style can evoke nostalgia and bring back memories of a bygone era, making it a popular choice among people of all ages. So to create a retro or vintage inspired t-shirt design, you can use elements such as old fashioned typography, vintage illustrations or graphics, faded or distressed textures and colors that were popular in the past decades, such as muted earth tones or bright neon hues. Another option is to feature a popular image or icon from the past, such as a vintage car, a classic record player, or a retro game console. By incorporating these elements into your design, you can create a t-shirt that has a timeless, nostalgic appeal that will never go out of style. Overall, a retro or vintage inspired t-shirt design is a great way to celebrate the past while also creating a unique and stylish piece of clothing that stands out from the crowd. So. Now we have the idea that, okay, we're going to need, you know, a type of a shirt where we're going to have some vintage design. So I'd say let's go with a vintage, let's go with a vintage illustration of a car. Okay, let's go like people love cars. Okay, now you can just go ahead and search vintage car drawing. Okay, drawing. And once you do that, you can choose any one of these, but you can see that, you know, it's not too good. I, I wouldn't recommend this. So what you can do is you can use Dolly 2. Now you're probably wondering what Dolly 2 is and what will it do? It's basically the same company that made ChatGPT. They made a great, you could say, AI to make art, Dolly. Now what Dolly does is it basically generates any type of art that you tell it. Like you're going to give it a few keywords and once you're done giving those keywords, you're going to tell Dolly that, okay, this is all I'm going to give you. Make me a good AI art. So what we're going to do is obviously we're going to load Dolly and here we are. Now, obviously we want, we're going to give it some keywords. So a vintage, okay. A vintage let's, let's go and search old popular cars. Okay. 
So let's go with an Aston Martin DB5 1964, okay? So, or you know what? Let's go with an old Cadillac, a vintage Cadillac with the color and texture of a 1980 picture. And then you can go back to ChatGPT, see more things like, you know, faded or distressed textures and faded and distressed textures. And we're just gonna add a comma there. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on generate, okay? And hopefully, uh, if you've written everything right, what it's gonna do is accordingly, it's gonna create a design like with the prompt that you gave it. So it's like gonna take what, like 30, 30 to 40 seconds max. It's gonna take a minute if it's overcrowded at the moment and you're just gonna wait for it to make you something good. And once it's done loading, it's gonna give us four different designs, okay? Now in this four different designs, you're gonna choose one because obviously uh, we want a single design. Now, while this is loading, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on to Canva and we're gonna write T-shirt, okay? And once you write T-shirt, here you can see it gives you a template. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create a blank T-shirt and we're gonna come back here, it's still loading. So we're gonna wait for it to load. Now we're gonna come back here, okay? So obviously, first of all, you're gonna choose a background. This is like a box that will come over your shirt. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. Okay, we're still waiting on that. So yeah, uh, basically what we're gonna do now is as you can see, you're gonna choose your design and then you're just gonna paste it over your shirt like this on Printify, like using Printify and it's pretty nice and basic stuff. Now, as you can see, our shirt design has been loaded and as you can see, a vintage Cadillac. Look at how cool this looks. Now, uh, I would either, either choose this or this. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Now, once you go with this, you're just gonna click on save, okay? Now, once you click on save, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your collections if you want to, and then you're gonna download it just like this. Now, once it's downloading, it's gonna be downloaded into your download folder, obviously. And once that is done, all you're gonna do is you're gonna export this over here, and we're just gonna wait for it. There you go. Now, it's just exported like that. You're gonna choose a background color, uh, I'd say we're, we should go with a, what will look best? I'd say you should go with a, yeah, we should go with an off-white yellowish vibe. Yeah, we should go with that. And once you do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna export this image, take it to Printify, print it on your shirt, and that is how you're gonna make a t-shirt using AI and ChatGPT. So, uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.